go there. Wouldn't hear something scary. You think that you would recognize it if you were losing your mind. That if you were going crazy, you would recognize it. That you would know that you were going out of your mind. But would you really? Here's the thing. If you were schizophrenic, you wouldn't know that the things that you believe and the patterns that you're seeing and the things that you're hearing weren't real. You wouldn't believe that the TV representative on the news, the news anchor, you wouldn't believe that they weren't really talking specifically to you. You weren't, wouldn't believe that they weren't giving you a hidden message that only you were meant to receive, and if only you could decipher that message. If only you could figure out what they were trying to tell you. You wouldn't believe if somebody told you that the voices that you're hearing weren't really the voice of God or the angels or demons, or in my case, the screams of the damned. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to tell that the people that you would be interacting with weren't really there. Your best friend <laughs> doesn't exist. You wouldn't know. But everybody else does. And that's the thing is that you're upset that everybody else thinks you're crazy. And you know for a fact that you know what's going on. Because you see and hear it as clear as day. You know you're not going mad. It's everyone else that's just freaking stupid. They don't understand. You've witnessed it. You've seen it with your own two eyes. How could it not be real? And that's the thing about losing your mind. You don't know that it's not real. But it's not. You've gone crazy. And you've lost your mind. And you're the only one that doesn't recognize it. This is the, the life of a schizophrenic.